Hello everyone. Today we will gain some basic knowledge about contract laws through some basic multiple choice questions. So without wasting any time, let's start with it. The first question is, the contract is defined as an agreement enforceable by law. Wide section dash of the Indian Contract Act. The options are A, Section 2E, B, Section 2F, C, Section 2H or D, Section 2I. The correct answer to this question is option C. That is, the contract is defined as an agreement enforceable by law. Wide Section 2 Clause H of the Indian Contract Act. The next question is, when the consent is caused by undue influence, then it becomes which of the following? Options are A. Voidable B. Void C. Valid or D. Illegal The correct answer to this question is option A. That is voidable, which means that when a consent is caused by undue influence, then the contract becomes voidable. The next question is, which of the following legal statement is incorrect? The statements are, option A, an agreement enforceable by law is a contract, stated in section 2. Option B, all agreements are contract, stated in section 10. C, a proposal when accepted becomes a promise, stated in section 2. Or, option D, Every promise and every set of promise forming the consideration for each other is an agreement stated in section 2 clause E. The correct answer to this question is option A that is an agreement enforceable by law is a contract which is stated in section 2 is incorrect. The next question is all contract is a and dash fill in the blanks options are a offer b agreement c acceptance or d transaction the correct answer to this question is option b that is all contract is an agreement but all agreement are not contracts the next question is a and dash is every promise and every set of promises forming consideration for each other. The options are A. Offer B. Agreement C. Acceptance or D. Transaction The correct answer to this question is option B. That is, an agreement is every promise and every set of promises which is which forms consideration for each other next question is which of the following is not competent contract options are a a minor b a person of unsound mind c a person who has been disqualified from contracting by some law or d all of these the correct answer to this question is option d that is all of these which means that a minor a person of unsound mind and a person who has been disqualified, disqualified from contracting by some law are not competent to contract. The next question is, as per section 2 clause E of Indian Contract Act, every promise and set of promise forming the consideration for each other is an which of the following? Options are A. Contract B. Agreement C. Offer or D. Acceptance The correct answer to this question is option B. That is, every promise and every set of promise forming the consideration for each other is an agreement and this is stated in section 2 clause E of the Indian Contract Act. The next question is, for an acceptance to be valid, it must be which of the following? Options are partial and qualified. B. Absolute and unqualified. C. 
partial and unqualified or d absolute and qualified the correct answer to this question is option b that is for an acceptance to be valid it must be absolute and unqualified in nature the next question is over a cup of coffee in a restaurant x invites y to dinner at his house on sunday y hires a taxi and reaches x's house at the appointed time but x fails to perform his promise can y recover any damages from x the options are a yes as y has suffered b no as the intention was not to create legal relation c either a or b or d none of these answer to this question is option b that is no as the intention was not to create legal relation y cannot recover any damages from x so from this situation we come to know that y can only recover damage from x or any person can recover any damage from any other person only if and only if the legal relation has been hampered or there has been any damage to the legal relation and not any other relation per se the next question is under the indian contract act a third person can options are a who is the beneficiary under the con contract can sue b from whom the consideration has proceeded can sue c cannot sue even if the consideration has proceeded from him or d cannot sue at all for all want of privity of contract the correct answer to this question is option a that is under the indian contract act a third person is one who is the beneficiary under the contract and has the right to sue 